fuck you mean? Fuck you mean? I need a young boss nigga with a check. Like niggas buy money, not the ones like the flip. Fuck what you heard, put your in late text. And I don't even want to talk if he ain't coming with the neck. I said I like a bitch. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel during the season here. But y'all already know what time it is. We about to do this QA question and answer part car conversation edition. But anyway, first question How old are you? What's your sign? I'm 20 years old and I'm a Leo. My birthday is on August 13th. <sighs> Period. Don't play me. I really, I just really want to go to Vegas for my 21st birthday, but I just told y'all my birthday, y'all gonna give me some. What made you want to dance? When I think about dancing and like strippers and stuff, I think about money. I don't think about nothing else. I wanted to be a dancer because I wanted to see what that money was like. I was, I told myself like, when I was working, like I was like, I could make my check in a night if I really put my mind to this. You feel what I'm saying? So, really just to get fast money, to touch new money every day, it's a hustle at the end of the day. You feel what I'm saying? But it's just a good way to touch money quicker than, oh, two weeks. You feel what I'm saying? For nothing. Two weeks for literally, like, pennies. But, um, yeah, that's really what made me want to start dancing just because it's fast, good money. Do you have any siblings? I have a brother, an older brother, and I have a few sisters on my daddy's side. I really don't know them like that, but. Are you living in Atlanta? The plan is to move to Atlanta, but I don't wanna just up and move to Atlanta without really knowing Atlanta. You feel what I'm saying? I go to Atlanta often to, you know, sightsee and stuff and like learn my way around atlanta before i just move out there you feel what i'm saying like i just want to make sure like is this somewhere i really like i'm really interested in moving and honestly like i've been like the only reason i wouldn't move to atlanta the traffic is horrible like and being that everything is like 30 20 minutes away like it's like too much but other than that like I'm making the pros and the cons list. Like, is this somewhere I really want to be? If it's not, then we're going to try, try somewhere in Texas or something. Or somewhere in Florida. You feel what I'm saying? Like, down south. Um, what's the hardest part about dancing so far? Dancing is not hard. It's just an experience thing. Like, stripping, like, it's just... It changes you. Like, it's one of them jobs that change you. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like it's hard. It's just new. With experience comes profession. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, for example, I was dancing. I was giving somebody a lap dance. And I kind of got bored. Like, I'm like, because it's like I'm doing the same things. Like, it's like, once you start to see like how you dance and what you're doing it's like okay how can i make it better type of thing it's all about experience like i don't think it's hard it's just about experience so far like where you from i'm from savannah 912 don't play with the city period we own y'all stage name my stage name is risky how long you plan to dance I plan to dance until I'm where I want to be. Not saying that dancing is going to be my only form of income. I'm now going to start getting paid from YouTube because I got monetized. <laughs> Once YouTube start giving me them racks and you know, once I get my esthetician license, you know, then that's when I feel like, okay, like, I'm going to slow down on dancing because I, I really don't need to be in the club. Are you single or taking? Y'all be in my business. <laughs> goals, career. Um, My goal, well, I want to be an esthetician. And my goal is to get licensed, continue trying to build my business, my last tech business, 
and then later on down the road open up my own salon like with lash techs eyebrow techs and waxers and anybody else like makeup artists and stuff like before i turn 25 my goal is to be rich rich like you rich as hell like you're rich like no kids still i don't want kids until probably like my late 20s like because i'm trying to build like build build so like before i'm 25 i'm giving myself like i'm being patient with myself but at the same time like i'm starting now like i tell myself you got five years you know how much money you can make in a year so just imagine five you feel what i'm saying so, do you feel like you can have a healthy work and relationship balance yes it is definitely possible yes i do have a healthy work and relationship balance like um I feel like the only way you're gonna have issues is if he's insecure and he does not have trust issues and he does not have trust and he has trust issues. But moms know that I'm not just dancing for the like I'm not just dancing to dance. I'm dancing to support my goals and my future. But if you just if you got a dude that's so stuck in his head and his ways and you know, he just got a negative mind about it. It's not going to work. You know, just being dramatic. Like, I feel like it, it's not that damn deep, like, at all. It's a job. And if you know what type of female you have, it shouldn't be a problem. So, fast store to get dance clothes from. I'll be going to Leak and Class Hour, but I think Leak. Class Hour got a wider variety. But Leek be having, like, cute, like, the cute, cute stuff. What other questions? I gotta see what other questions y'all ask me real quick. Hold on. I don't know who told me to wait forever to come back on the camera because it's kind of getting dark, but... I don't want to go to the house! Ooh! Sitting in the car is a part of self-care. Some people think it's really weird, but I think it's a part of self-care. Like, to me, car sometimes, just chill. But anyway, my motivation is in life is because I never want to be broke. I never want to be broke. I've been broke before. I'm not even finna sit up here and act like I have not been broke. Because some, some females, some dudes, I thought be like, I ain't never been broke. I've been a lot of things, but I've never been broke. You won't know how to manage it until you lose it all. So I lost it, got it back, and now I'm managing it. Like, like I'm forever still my shit just because, like, I don't want to go back to that. Like, as long as I remember, okay, you don't never want to go back broke, what you going to do? I'm going to go make some money. So that's my motivation, me going broke and never wanting to go back. And, like, I lost it one time. I'm not trying to lose it again, like. I'm growing up, not down. I got things I got to do, period. So, this video is definitely kind of short. And it's definitely getting dark. So, that concludes the Q&A pool. Y'all ain't, y'all I'm not finna say nothing else about the camp. Because it's just too much negativity stemming around it. I don't want nobody feeling like I'm trying to, you know, use the camp for views or you know none of that because that's not never what's going on like i don't like no like i'm just saying right now if you don't support me unsubscribe don't watch none of my videos period but if you really like me genuinely like me and you know you see exactly where i be coming from you feel me give this video a like and a thumbs up and give me the comment and subscribe with all that negativity and that old stuff like good luck because it's like it's not even here no more. Yeah, and I got a vlog coming for y'all soon. So, y'all really want to subscribe. Subscribe. But yeah, other than that, I'll see y'all in the next video. Period.